It's fall, so that means it is officially chili season, one of my favorite things to make and to eat. So to kick it off, I wanted to introduce you to my kicking kielbasa Cleveland chili. Let's go. Bam! We start with three pounds of ground beef. Oh yeah, we're making a big old batch of chili so you can eat and toot all week. You can thank me later. Once cooked, make sure you drain it. Next, take that kielbasa. Chop that bad boy up, throw it into a pan, get it all crispy-like. Then, get your biggest pot, add a little oil, and put your ground beef and kielbasa in there. Now on to the veggies. Three peppers, diced. Come on, uh, come on, uh, there we go. And dice two yellow onions and a red onion. Throw those on a pan and get them nice and cooked up. While those are doing their thing, we're gonna add to the pot a can of diced tomatoes, a can of tomato paste, next, a can of kidney beans, and a can of black beans. People say beans don't belong in chili, to which I say, I don't care. Enough said. Then it's time for the secret ingredient. Not one, but two Great Lakes Oktoberfest beers. Put one and a half in there and save the other half for yourself. You deserve it, champ. Finally, add in your spices. I use three packs of chili seasoning. My favorite is from Fresh Time. Then add in those veggies and stir. Cook on medium high heat for about 10 minutes, then on low for at least an hour. Now, time to serve. Crack a beer, grab a bud, and enjoy. What do you think they're flat, Dave? Happy fall.